Hi everybody and welcome back to my basement. Today we're gonna talk about how to power your GoPros to use on the Dyson Mini or whatever drone you like. I get this question a lot, like how do I power the GoPro or even uh, people are trying to do that but it doesn't work or they are frying their GoPros and I wanna do a video where I uh, analyze every single possible way to power your GoPro starting from like the easy ones to the hard ones, the reliable, the not reliable ones and so you can decide which one is the best method for you. There are three main ways you can power your GoPro. The first one is taking power from your flight controller, the second one is using a battery illuminated circuit and the third one is using the battery of the GoPro itself and you have to work with it to make it work. Starting with the first method, the FC. Yeah, a lot of people say you cannot, but I have been flying for uh, months now, taking power from the flight controller and it's always worked really good and I have no, no issues with that. And the, th the thing is, you have to have a really beefy regulator on your flight controller because people are trying other flight controllers and they say, hey, it doesn't work. Yeah, I have not tested all flight controllers, of course. But if you use the Beta FPV uh, 85X 4S flight controller and you remove the LEDs, that's what I'm using, basically, it works. Because there is enough juice to power that GoPro and there is no issue with that. Also, I am using a 2S drone and it has a smaller regulator on it. It works no problem. The only thing is being 2S when you drop the voltage below 5 volts, of course, the GoPro stops working. And I think it should stop working even if you use a battery eliminator circuit in that case, because there is no 5 volt to work with. The pros about using your flight controller power. Well, it's lighter, it's more convenient, because you have a direct power source from your flight controller. You can add a plug and it's it's it, it's light, small and compact. But the cons are, it doesn't work with every flight controller and sometimes it can be unreliable, as I told you, if the flight controller, I mean, it's stuff sucking juice from your flight controller and you have other devices attached to it. So there is the receiver, there is the VTX, the flight controller itself and don't use, but the LEDs, the camera, so everything is working at 5 volts and you really need to have a beefy regulator for it so you, otherwise you can uh, have issues also you can have noise into the, the system and it's not the best you want to keep the noise levels down but I mean you can try and if it doesn't work you can try the other met methods the second method is to use a battery eliminator circuit there are really small battery eliminator circuits and they are like one gram, so it's not that much weight added. They take power from your battery, basically you, uh, you put the leads on the, on the battery terminals, on your uh, flight controller, so they take full voltage. And they take that full voltage and they bring it into 5 volts. Now, I will put in the description um, battery eliminator circuits that I know works and it's from Maytech and it should output 1 or 2 amperes of power and that's really enough for your GoPro and I have I heard people that use other kinds of battery eliminator circuits and they uh, are having issues because maybe it's not beefy enough or it's not outputting the right voltage so even there um, get something that works and you know works and they are super cheap like they will be 3 bucks so no issue there you can add a plug on that, so you can unplug your GoPro whenever you like. So, with pros you have, uh, it's somewhat more reliable, you are taking off strain from your flight controller, because um, you are sourcing 5 volts from another thing and the devices breathe better, let's say. And for cons, well, it's bulkier, you have more wires running around and you add a little bit of weight. But that's it. The third way is using your own GoPro batteries. So if your GoPro came with a battery and you have one, you can basically destroy it and take the circuit inside and use the, um, the connector that goes on the back of the motherboard. I'll show you some pics. 
and basically this connector has four wires and a lot of people think you can just uh, supply power to the black and the red one and your GoPro will work but that way you will actually toast it because GoPro I don't know why they didn't put positive and negative on those wires they put it on the other ones and also this circuit inside the batteries sends a signal to your GoPro that tells that you are using an original battery and you cannot use um, like other voltages, it has to get that signal. Pros about using the battery are uh, probably, I know for a fact that when you plug in your battery in a GoPro it turns on a, a Wi-Fi automatically, so maybe you don't have uh, buttons on the back and you can use uh, Wi-Fi to turn on your GoPro. Also it's reliable because the module inside your battery is a step-up module, so it takes 3.7 volts and it, it um, supplies 5 volts, so it should be even better for that. The cons are if you are like me and have a GoPro, you have to destroy a battery, but you can buy them online, it's not a big deal. And Plus, it's not really a super tested method yet, uh, a few people are using it, and I don't know which battery has the right module inside, like every battery should have the right module but they may have different connections so there is not a lot of documentation on it yet. Now that we're, we've talked about the sources, let's talk about where to solder on the, your GoPro. Because that's another part where people screw up a lot and they can even destroy the, the GoPro and it's not good, you know. If you look in the back of your GoPro you will find the battery terminal, that's where you will plug in your battery. And in the bottom of the GoPro you will find your USB-C connector. So, you can take 5 volt both from the FC or from the battery eliminator circuit and strip down a USB-C cable and just plug in your USB-C cable and it will work. You just need to find the positive and negative on your USB-C but it's not really hard, it should be marked like voltage. Uh, plus and voltage minus or voltage and ground usually is that one and the other two connections are D plus and D minus and that's for data transfer you don't want to solder on those ones and then you just plug in and that's it the GoPro receives power and that way you can even bench test your GoPro because you can uh, use a, a regular USB cable when you're not using the drone so it's versatile and also it allows for data transfer so you don't have to remove your SD card, you can just plug into your laptop and it transfers files. On the other side is the heaviest and bulkiest way to power your GoPro because you have a cable sticking out like this and also you have a bit more um, bulk around here but it's not that much. The second way and I've seen this on my group and no, I've not tried it but I'll show you how to do it on my bench because I have the, the connector is you can cut clean your, uh, your ribbon cable here and there are two big traces so one is ground and one is voltage plus and basically 5 volt and that's cool because you can screw up, cut another piece of the wire, it gets shorter but you can try again to solder there and if you screw up or everything breaks you can still cut a bit, cut a bit, cut a bit and if you manage to break it you can order a replacement online for really cheap and basically you don't touch your motherboard and that's really a nice way to do it but I would say a thing the connector here is really flimsy so find a way to secure it, maybe using some hot glue or, or, or tape or whatever because every time I strip down a GoPro uh, this connection breaks because it's made of flimsy plastic and uh, it's really a pain to, to use it basically. The third way is I just remove the connector and as this, um, this connector is really flimsy on the, on the board, I just find the positive which is the top pin and the ground, every um, golden pad on the GoPro is ground, I'll show you the picture, I actually have this method in my original video and you just have to be really precise and solder your, um, 
and solder your wire to the top pin of the uh, of the connector it's really a precise soldering but once you do put some glue there and it's there and that that's maybe the most reliable system if you do it correctly because it's touching the motherboard and it's supplying power to it and it, it cannot come off basically if you glue it right perfect now i hope i shedded some light on how to power your gopro and people incurring less problems because that's not good when that happens and it's really frustrating so i hope watching this video you can understand where the issue is and how to fix it check the description down below to find links to the battery eliminator circuit and whatever else also there is the link for the Dyson mini group if you have questions or footage to share please join and it's full of helpful people I'm there myself and I will help you and please tell me in the comments if you have other questions about this or some other topic like how to print that's a tutorial it's coming soon I'm shooting it and as always stay safe and happy flying!